Barring any last-minute change, a former governor of Plateau State, Senator Joshua Darie, may run for senatorial seat on the platform of the Labour Party. Darie, former Taraba governor uh, and uh, Governor Jolly Nyame and three others, were mo on Monday released from prison three months after they had pardoned by the Council of State led by President Muhammad Buhari on April 14, 2022. The Plateau State chapter of the party has reportedly concluded arrangements to receive the former governor from Abuja to pick the party's senatorial form. While well, joining us to discuss this scenario is Tunji Abdulhamid, he's a legal practitioner, and Kach Onunuju, he's a political scientist. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tunji, uh, it's just a few days ago that we talked about the release of this gentleman, and um, and some of the, um, you know, pundits, political pundits and analysts um, saying or making um, certain speculations that there, there might have been a political undertone as to why now. Um, that why did Mr. President choose now to release this man as opposed to any other time? Uh, he could have done this when he finally steps out uh, of office. But now that we're hearing these speculations, um, what are your thoughts first, uh, in, the, in the first place? This is a man that has um, had been charged for taking billions from the coffers of his state and, of course, funneling it through some other places. Um, should we be worried? We should, any serious Nigerians should be worried. We should be worried. We should be. Because uh, when we talk about... Uh, we are fighting corruption, especially this uh, APC government that came into power on the mantra of a uh, fight against corruption and uh, doing this uh, kind of a thing. So that what you see, when you, it, it appears in Nigeria, not even appearing, it, in Nigeria, we have uh, enforcement of law in Nigeria, uh, it's in categories. In other words, it depends on your level. If you are PPIP or PIP or just other in Nigeria, the way the law will be enforced against to be different from the way they were enforced against any other person. There are so many people who are who have been in jail and who deserve to be given a pardon that they are not considered at all. But you see, the, it, let, let's get it right. Yes, the president does he have the power to grant pardon to Darie? Yes, he has the power. Is uh, Darie qualified to, to, to be pardon? As far as I'm concerned, the answer is no. Because uh, if you are giving somebody pardon, he must, he must, he must, he must, have, he, he, he must if, if you are giving that pardon, other people who are qualified, or even are more qualified than him, are also in prison and they are dead and they have committed a little, little crime, crime that, 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 not, that not even affect the uh, people. In other words, the, the allegation against Dari at that time was 2 point something billion euro, and uh, which was alleged to have to be government, uh, 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 to the people's money, uh, between 2007 and 2009 uh, uh, or so, I can't remember the year it, became, it was stopped now. So now a, go a government who says is fighting corruption, now granting pardon after a series of this. If you remember, the case against the against Zaria started in court in 2007 by by PDP government, and he was convicted in 2018. Now we have he has started a pardon. I, I we, imagine the kind of uh, labor the prosecutor are putting to it, the finance are putting to prosecution, and all the threats and the other day. Pardon. So, in other words, as far as I'm concerned, it appears the government, other than fighting corruption, is encouraging corruption. Because people will not believe that look, once, I'm, once I have the money, once I have the club, I can commit crime, I will go free. And that's what we're seeing today now. Because uh, remember, it's not, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying uh, that he contested election after him, pardon, is illegal. At least, at least today, he has never committed an offense. That, that's, the, that's, the, that, that's the pardon that has been given to him. He has, as if he has never even been tried in court or, or, or convicted. And that's the end of the pardon. It's not, it's not the first time. Uh, Baba Bato George, the former president of Nigeria, was also given pardon for him to contest for the 1999 election. So it might be a surprise for me if uh, that year after being released from the prison, I decided to contest for that uh, election. You remember also, though, yeah, he was not convicted, he was just in custody that time. He, he, he contested the election and he won from, prison, from custody. That is uh, the current uh, Secretary General of the, of the APC, uh, Mr. Mitchell. He contested uh, at that time while in custody and he won election. So it's not, it's not new to me. It's, it's a bad, it, it is a bad, uh, uh, this uh, kind of thing 
uh, is bad for our, for, for, our, for our system. In other words, rather than fight corruption, it appears we are encouraging uh, uh, the government is encouraging uh, corruption because you see, when you see people who are in top uh, position, when they, whenever they commit crime, the way and manner their prosecution will be done it will be different from those who are not the, the major, uh, the masses, the way and manner they will be prosecuted. You see the speed with which a, 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 a nobody will be taken to prison and then the way he will be beaten and then he will be dead with uh, after being convicted. But the PIP and PIP, you see the way they will be treated and then few, few hours or few, few months later, you will hear that they will, they will be pardoned. You can see the former governor of uh, uh, Oak, that is uh, Oju Sokalu. I can't remember the name of the state again now. He was also the same thing, though he was not pardoned, but he was, it, 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 it was passed based on a, a technical error from the, from the prosecution. So the way Amana were doing things in Nigeria, it does not encourage any, anybody to say that we are fighting corruption. We are encouraged of it, and it starts for me and unfortunately for just as, as, as it today. I'm, I'm wondering to myself, because you say, you, you, you said that this is how things are, are being done in the country. And for a government that promised that they were going to change things, this is what we're seeing happen. But then can we only just point fingers at the political class for what's happening? Again, because I've had conversations where people have said, well, we have the Shiite leader and his wife still in custody. Couldn't the, gov the president have pardoned them? We have um, other people who are still in custody, who did not steal, by the way steal monies from the coffers of Nigerians, who did not take food out of the mouth of Nigerians, who did not in any way hurt Nigerians, but they're still in custody. Yet people who stole from our commonwealth are being pardoned. Um, but then, we the people, what have we done, aside from grumble? Uh, if it looks like we really never do anything, why can't the cycle continue, even after this government? We are also even a, a, a part of the problem because uh, you see this uh, uh, chief Dari, the former governor that just came out from the prison now. I, I tell you, you won't be surprised. He will contest under a party, and he will win election. And you know, that that is for sure that the, the, the people, people people decide the kind of leader they they they, they, they choose. So in other words, we are also encouraging this uh, situation. Don't vote again, Nigeria. The morality we are we, are, we are, is no longer there. We don't focus on the competence or capacity. We don't focus on whether or not we have, this man has been tested and, and has been found to be, whether or not he has been found. The, the, the point is that he was tried for, 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 what's it called, for, for being uh, corrupt and he was found guilty. So that, that is there. You can't erase that one. Even though you can say he has been found. There is, it's there. It shows that clearly that he, has been, he was found guilty of being a, a corrupt person. So as far as I'm concerned, if, I, 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 even if it's, if, if it's found out, that will not erase that part. And uh, I will not be surprised again if you contest election and win election. Because that's the nature of what we have in Nigeria. It's not about uh, who can do the job, who is clean, who is and that. The who is that person that has the money, who can give us uh, what we need in order for immediate need. One, one, nine, two, nine, one thousand, nine, nine. That's, that's what people need now. So, because the economy, the people, are, people believe that, look, what I get now is what is my own. So let me just join them, collect what I want to collect, vote for them, and then uh, go and relax and wait for another four years. That's what we hear. So I, I, I pity us in Nigeria because the masses too are not even helping the matter. We are not at all. In as much as those in government are guilty, the masses are also uh, uh, more guilty in that, in that, in that, in that what, aspect. We are also not. What must uh, we do? Our, what yeah. must we okay, do? What? what must we do? Because it's okay. It's all fair and well if we say, oh, the masses are not helping. But what must we do for these so called leaders to take us seriously? Because again, uh, I would only take you for a ride if I know that you, you only can huff and puff and do nothing. So again, what must the average Nigerian do? What must, the, what must we as citizens of the Federal Republic do that can make sure that our leaders are accountable and not just accountable, but know that there is no loophole, no way for them to wiggle back into office if they have been known and tried, even convicted, as treasury looters? You, are, you have given the answer. What we need to do is to ensure that look, people who have been said to be corrupt, or those who have been given the opportunity and have been, have, have been, have been, have been found one thing one way or the other, not be given any opportunity again to do anything. They're not, that, that's not the case in Nigeria. So if, as long as you continue to give them opportunity, they continue to rub us off. Rub us off but but to, to, Tunji, I'm them. sorry to talk over you, Tunji. You're, you're making it sound like we gave them the opportunity. I just had a conversation with a group of people from civil society. And again, 
it's the political party. In fact, I'm going to ask, why Labour Party in the first instance? Why not the APC? He belonged to a party before he, you know, he was convicted. But again, um, it's not the Nigerians per se. I know that the people who are in political parties are Nigerians, but you make it sound like we're the ones who say, yes, come and run for this office. It's the political parties that give them a nod, isn't it? No, the political party in Nigeria, no, uh, the, what we have in Nigeria are parties with that ideology. What they want to do is just to win election. You can see, in fact, it's not, if, if Labour Party is even allowed that is to be part of their, of their, of their, of their, of their, to run their, uh, uh, under their platform, it means that the political Labour Party is not one piece. Because we have been told that the, the federal candidate of the Labour Party and those in the Labour Party are, are different from those who other people who have been seen before. And as far as I'm concerned, although I'm aware that Darie, you know, the chief Darie, who came into, uh, got, got into the National Assembly as a senator under the Labour Party, in one election that the Party is not a Labour Party, and he and and completed his tenure, he's not a 19. That's part of that he was, he was, he was in jail, he's not a 19. He completed so, And the problem that's why he's going back to the Labour Party. He was in the Labour Party before going to prison. So the problem that's the reason. But look who is standing. Now that they were, we have been told that Labour Party is now, now being run by people with uh, integrity, people with honesty, people who can deliver for us. And if they are, if they are lying, you show the kind of party they are also, they are, they are too. They are, that means they are also interested in winning election, not about uh, who can do, who, who, the good people. So it shows that even if the present kind of Labour Party becomes a president, the kind of people which we are, we are complaining of before, we see the same kind of, kind of people that will, that will run our affair. So what has changed? Nothing. So as far as I'm concerned, the, the people also should also say, look, no to these people. If you don't say no to them, there's no way they will not win. So if you pick a candidate from a, that 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 is integrity that is it's not clean, people should come out and, uh, 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 and say no. We don't want our people, especially Labour Party, Party people that have been seen as people with integrity. I expect them to come out now and say no. You cannot run. You cannot give this man ticket because he will rub off on our on our party. I, I expect them to do that because if if they don't do that, I will not see them as a serious party. And well, the people party with their integrity. We're being joined by Catch Onunuju. Let's see um, if we can hear him. Now, Catch, if you can hear us, what grounds should, if if this be a reality uh, for the Labour Party, what grounds would uh, this man be running for office? I mean, again, I just said he's been tried, he's been jailed as a Treasury looter. I'm imagining to myself what he'll be telling the people he's canvassing votes from that he wants to do for them. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, you have to look at uh, the issue is uh, him being, being granted pardon. If being granted pardon also means that the issues of his conviction should be looked away, then the law should be allowed to take its place. If he, however, is barred by law, then I think the law probably will be also implemented. We've not seen quite a lot of things about the elections coming from the new electoral act. So I believe what it is, we have to look into the electoral act and see if there are any issues that undermines the positions of someone who's been given clemency, and in this case, executive pardon by the president. So I think that's where we should look at it from. Apart from that, I believe that the law should be allowed to take its natural course. If he's been pardoned, he's been pardoned. He's a citizen, then he qualifies. If the law is against it, according to the Electoral Act, you then execute the law. If the law is not against it, there is nothing anybody can do about it. Dr. Kacha, telling me that um, the political parties have no problem whatsoever. And just as he said, he, he said that if any political party were to even open its doors to him, it would, one way or the other, in his words, tarnish the image of that political party. I mean, it's one thing for him to get the ticket. It's another for him to tell you and I, or convince you and I, that he wants to run and we should vote for him. So that's a different case. But you're saying that if the president has pardoned this man, we should forget that billions of our monies were taken by this man and still unaccounted for. Well, wherever it is, you need to understand that we're a society governed by the rule of law. The law has to be applied. If there are any issues in regards to clemency, it does not qualify due to the clemency, then it could be stopped. But if not, I don't see anything. There are those who are not convicted, but they have done worse things against the state of Nigeria. 
There are politicians today who are running for election who are actively promoting terrorism, which is known to me and you. And so I don't really think you should see him in that very bad light. Those who are busy undermining national security stand in the worst state than he does. So I don't really see a problem with that and want to look at every issue on their own merits. If Darye and Mr. Yami are barred from contesting due to the positions of the Lecturer Act, then the law should be implemented and executed. If they are not touched by that, and the clemency means all your sins are washed away, as Mr. Shomole will say, then it should be applied to him being a citizen. Mm. Finally, let, let's, let's look at the, the trajectory of Nigerians and, of course, how we're getting ready for 2023. Um, do you see Nigerians standing their grounds against whatever it is? And it's not just a Joshua Dari situation, because you made mention of people who might be running for offices in this next election who are sponsors, supposed sponsors of terrorism, uh, people who are also treasury looters, people who have done worse things. Now, I did, I did, you know, put out a tweet today about, you know, um, not just listening to what a person says, but looking at their antecedents. Do you think that we as Nigerians are taking into consideration all of these things, or are we going to be again taken by, um, you know, the sweet tongue or the sweet mouth uh, of politicians? Well, I, I, will, I will say something is afoot in our country. There seems to be a sociological spring. The young people are moving forward to take charge because they are very disappointed in the way some old people have fraudulently engaged the system. I think Nigerians will be very assertive going forward. It's no more the Nigeria of the past, no. The girl is now up to 20 years. She is now a monster not a little daddy's girl. Nigerians will not be told what to do anymore, as you can already see on the social media. They are very upfront. They're taking charge of the ballot revolution. I don't think anybody or any set of old people will be able to deter the young in terms of where they're going to. I see strong social changes. I see historical ballot revolution. I don't see anybody able to stop the young people in regards of where they are doing. There's enough awareness for us to take the necessary actions. Uh, Tunji, finally, do you agree with um, Katja Nuju on the fact that there's a revolution coming, or is this revolution just noise and probably just fire that may burn out soon, being that you know? Uh, we've seen these kinds of revolutions die down before elections, and then we see the same thing happen again. How certain are you that this fire would hold till 2023? Yeah, I, I, th I think uh, I, I don't, I, 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 I didn't hear your question very well. Uh, I, I believe you are talking about the issue of uh, whether we should align, whether it, 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 should, it should continue this way or not. Yes. Uh, I, I, legally speaking, legally speaking, Daria is qualified to contest election. Legally speaking, anybody in his, in his, in his, in his head are, are, are qualified to contest election. And what we are saying is that that will not be will not speak well of all, particularly this government of APC, the current government of uh, uh, President Mehmet Buhari, who is talking about fighting against corruption, giving such people uh, uh, what's it called pardon. And the next day, the next thing we hear is that he wants to contest election again. See, I think we need to change our law to show that look, once you are convicted, even if you are giving pardon, you must serve ten years or so years for people to see you that you are now a different person. Before you can even say, I want to hold public up. Then the same way you are part of today, how, and the next day you can become but president of the country. how do you prove, I'm sorry not to talk over you, how do you prove that you're a chained person if you're not serving? No, people, people will see it from your attitude. People will see it from you. I could pretend. I, I, well, after 10 years ago, they will see you on that. I could pretend. Like, how you are, you are doing. They will see you, and they will know you. Although, unfortunately, in Nigeria, people, even electorate, they don't vote based on your character. They don't vote based on your ability. They don't focus on capacity. They focus based on what you have. Do you have the finance? Do you have the money? Do they be able to get something from you? That is the basis of which are, are you are you a Muslim or a Christian? Are you a Fulani or Yoruba or Uta? That is the basis of which we put in this country. And I, I don't see that one change in 2023. Our, 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 we are still running the issue of religious sentiment. 
uh, what do you call uh, ethnic sentiment and all other sentiment, and political sentiment, okay. without even looking at whether or not you have the capacity or don't have capacity. I think I, I repeat again. I think that's it for us to change our law. So, so that look, even if once you are convicted, even if you are given pardon, you must start seven years before you can hold public topic. So that people will now see that you are not a change. Because like I said, whether you agree or not, I achieve that year is it is confirmed to be a, 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 a corrupt person, even though you have been given pardon. Okay. So that pardon will not erase the that fact that he was convicted to say that he he he, he, he was convicted of a, a okay. two point two billion uh, What's it called? Corrupt uh, Okay, because we do not have time, we have to wrap things up. Uh, Dr. Kat, right. do you have? Do you want to quickly put a word in before we go? Yes, I will want to say that at the end of the day, it is the local people in the local areas that will have the final say in regards to who should be voted for or who should not be voted for. As I said earlier, the gentleman has not committed half the offence of a lot of those we know are conniving with Bororo terrorists to slaughter Nigerians in an ethnic fashion to actually gain the ancestral lands. So I don't see those issues as, as serious as the ones that I accuse those who are currently involved right. in treasonous offenses okay. against the state. Okay. I don't, I'm, I'm really not worried. Okay. I think Mr. Darius is welcome uh, to test the laws. If he has gone against the law, if the clemency by the president does not cover okay. wiping away his old sins, then the law should be implemented and he should All be right. barred. If not that, he has not done half we have to go. the sins of those that we know who are running for elections today. We have to go. Thank you so much. Tunji Abdulhamid is a legal practitioner. Katch Onunadru is a political scientist. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being part of the conversation. Thank you Thank for you having me. All right. Well, before I go, I just want to give you a quick word. This is a take. I did say earlier on in the show, anybody can write a statement. Anybody can put together a manifesto. Sometimes these politicians can't even read the manifesto. They just, they don't even know what it means. They don't know how heavy those words are. They just read it because it makes them look good. Why? Because they pay people to help them write these manifestos so that they can convince you. So don't just take them at their word, because sometimes, what is their word worth? It's time for us to start digging, start finding out who these people really are. Look at the antecedents. Find out what they've done while they were serving in their own little way. Are they fit to get your vote? Then, if the answer is yes, give them your vote. If the answer is no, please do not. Because the truth is, we're all going to live with the consequences. So if you don't have your PVC, I'm sorry, you have no right to complain. I'm Mary Anacon. Thank you for watching.